This is Sarge here at C4 Defense, and today we're going to talk about two of the larger 9mm pistols that you can buy. The CZ P09 Duty, this one is suppressor ready, and the Glock 34 Gen 5, this one's an MOS configuration. Before we get started, let's go ahead and empty these out, make sure they're safe. Both of these guns are some of the longer 9mm that you can get. Although they're not the same, they're very similar. The CZ P09, this is in the suppressor ready model with the threaded barrel and the higher sights on it. MSRP, somewhere around $629, or they can get it for less. This one has a 19 plus 1 capacity. It's a double stack magazine, has their fabulous Omega trigger system on it. It has a 5.15 inch barrel, weighs about 32 ounces loaded. 8.8 .8 inch overall length, 1.46 inch overall width. It comes standard with the decocker, although you can opt in for the manual safety that does come in the package if you want to go ahead and swap that in. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Glock. The Glock 34, this one's in MOS configuration because I'm eventually going to put an optic on it. MSRP, it's hard to find online. I'd say somewhere around $7.99, but you can get them for less. Has a 17 plus one capacity, double stack magazine, has a Glock safe action trigger system. This one is optic ready, like I said, the MOS system. This is a Gen 5, so it has the marksman barrel, so it should be a little bit more accurate. The barrel length is 5.31 inches, about 34 and a half ounce loaded weight, 8.74 inch overall length, 1.3 inch width. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. The CZ P09 is a fantastic large frame 9mm. This one is perfectly applied to duty use, military use, home defense use. I've got this one with the suppressor ready model, has a 5.15 inch barrel, has some wonderful cocking serrations on it, they're easy to get to, has the decocker. The only safe way to decock this weapon once you've been firing it or once you load it is to use the decocker. Anything other than that, you're bypassing the safety features. Has a very large magazine release, very nice texturing on the grip. It does have replaceable grip panels so you can adjust the fit to your hand. This is a hammer fired weapon, unlike the striker fired weapon. This is a double action, single action. The first trigger pull is a little bit stiff. Everyone after that is silky smooth. This does have night sight straight from CZ. It also has a very large and pronounced slide stop. It has the squared off European trigger guard. It has a lanyard loop and also has the wonderful Omega trigger system by CZ. The Glock 34 is another very good shooting, longer nine millimeter pistol. This one is perfectly suited for duty applications, military use, SWAT applications, just like the P09. This one is in Gen 5 configuration, does not have finger grooves, it has the flared magwell for easy mag changes, also has the cutout so you can pull the magazine out in case of a double feed. I've added the beaver tail to fit my hand just a little bit better. I've also added Ameriglow suppressor height sights because this one is eventually going to have an optic. It also has the ambidextrous Gen 5 slide stop. I've added a TLR1 light to it basically because it's the way you want to carry it and it's the way it's going to fit in the holster. This one is an MOS configuration. This one is eventually going to have a Holosun 507C which I'll be installing next week. Stay tuned for that. Both of these guns are roughly the size of a 1911. Let's go ahead and compare them and I'll show you what I mean. Here's the Glock 34 right alongside my Rock Island full-size 1911 22 TCM. They're roughly the same length when you include the beaver tail. Pretty much the same width as well. They are practically the same height, same length. They fit in the same box as far as competition goes. Let's see how the P09 stacks up. The CZ P09 is just a little bit wider than the 1911. They are approximately the same length. Pretty much the same height as well. 
they fit in the same box as far as competition goes. They're exactly the same size. They carry pretty much the same way. Now let's go ahead and try them out. Now the CZ does have that long double action trigger pull. Takes a little getting used to, but the single action is absolutely fantastic. Now where this does have an advantage over the Glock 34 is magazine capacity. Stock, stock mag holds 19. The extended holds 21. Now the Glock does have some advantages over the CZ. Well, if I can hit anything, there we go. By the fact that there are multiple accessories available for it. But the Glock still holds a very respectable 17 pounds. And of course, bigger magazines are available. Now, a lot of people are going to say that these aren't concealed carry guns, but I beg to differ. I can easily conceal this behind an overshirt like I typically wear to dinner. And while we're talking about concealed carry, I'm going to go ahead and draw and fire 10 fairly quickly. I'm going to slow down and I'm going to put the last five in the head just to see how accurate we can go. So let's try it. All right, that's 10, now the head. Well, I shot them all just a little bit high, but that's me. I need to bring them back down. Probably need to shoot this gun just a little bit more. You can even conceal the Glock 34, especially out of my Smoky Mountain Concealment Holster. This fits all my long slide Glocks, including my 41, as long as I've got that Streamlight TLR1 light on it. Let's go ahead and put 10 and, and 5, see how we do. All right, slow down and hit the head. There we go. Glock 34, CZ P09. They're both fantastic guns. It just depends on which one's good for you. Remember, as always, to subscribe, comment, like. Go ahead and hit that notification icon if you're already a subscriber. We'll see you on the range.